so here he is representing New Zealand and of course Nigeria enter the last style bender Israel Adesanya we've certainly enjoyed our time getting to know this young man in our fighter meetings he has a high fight IQ he's a thinking man's fighter and obviously the physical skills jump off the film every time you watch yeah he's got it all I mean the guy has it all and as you watch him walk to the octagon he has a confidence in the air about him that many don't possess he has always known he would become a champion of the world he proved that he can do it now it's time to show whether or not he can do it again sometimes getting back is harder than getting there the first time let's see what israel adesanya can do to try to become the middleweight champion again. and certainly the discipline the motivation all that stuff is still there and there was a definite intensity to him here during fight week we'll see if he can channel that into the desired result tonight of the elite middleweight, Drakus Duplessis. And he got a lot of respect from his peers after beating Robert Whittaker at UFC 290. You had to look far and wide for any of his fellow fighters to be picking Duplessis going into that fight. And not only did he beat Whittaker, he bludgeoned him and got him out of there by TKO in round two. That laid the foundation for a title fight for Drakus Duplessis. This man is a physical force, hardened by his upbringing in South Africa. Excited to see what he can do with the opportunity tonight, DC. Championship fight. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Veteran Herbert Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Let's do it. All right, one of the best middleweights in the world at present, Drake is Duplessis. Prioritizing a fast start tonight as we get underway in round one. Not as though he's been a fighter who historically plays with his food at times, but Duplessis doesn't want to give his opponent any window for optimism or confidence. As such, he felt like his jab was going to be Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Look, is there again. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss by Duplessis. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, right hook attempt, no good. Inside leg kick is there by Duplessis. It's just a really high pace, too. It's a really high striking pace for these two. Oh, nice straight left. 
Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh, no feeling out process tonight. These fighters are falling early. Those guys came to fight from the moment the referee said go. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target. Oh, he's wobbling now. Just out of range with the big right hand. And they separate after exiting the clinch. Oh, counters beautifully with a straight punch there. Must be nice. Oh, another one. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent. He was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. So we call on the numbers here. 30 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Man, look at Adesanya putting his words into action. I don't throw and hope, I aim and fire. The accuracy is just on a completely different level and not surprising that he has drawn comparisons to the consensus greatest middleweight champion in UFC history, the great Anderson the Spider Silva. Two plus he's cut above the eye and that blood figures to start to trickle down. Could compromise his vision here moving forward. to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Oh, that shot cut him. Yeah, it did. You know, you don't expect it. Sometimes the cuts happen when you least expect it, and right now that's exactly what happened. Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Feeds upstairs and lands flush to the body. When they land perfect, that is the reaction you're hoping to get. That one landed perfect in this fight. Maybe stop very soon. Oh, huge kick to the leg. Oh. Redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this so much. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he got him. And back to his feet. Done trying to recover here. Right, setting up for an on-ball now. Oh, he's in trouble. Second round, straight ahead. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here we go with round two. Well, this is crazy that this fight is still going on. An appreciative crowd. Oh, man, look what that one body shot did to his opponent. That shows the power. And the power in the placement. It was placed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Two plus he's 
Whose nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Stay heavy on that cut. Let's go. Get it. Just missed with that right hand. Relax. Keep those hands up. Able to land to the body there with the left kick. Beautiful job getting those hands up. between the two fighters. Beautiful body kick. All right, so a knockdown. Oh, again. Well, he's able to get back up here, but oh, man, is he on wobbly legs. He's cut. Give him the elbow. Nice shot there by the champ. He's throwing bombs. Oh, oh they're trading good shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. He's hurting him bad, man. That right hook is nasty. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither of them. He's got to try to finish here. Gets back to his feet. Oh! Ooh. Nice leg kick. Big left hand there inside. Under three minutes now to go in round two. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Man, what a fight. That shot blocked by Adesanya. Oh, man, that cut on his lip is not getting any... Oh! That is it! What an absolutely crazy knockout here, and that's going to be a hard knockout from which to recover for his opponent. But the celebration is on one of the biggest wins in his UFC career. Massive win for this young fighter. He got the knockout victory. What a performance. The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 29 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Gregus Silva. Still the king of the 185 pounders. There he is, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion after the knockout tonight in his title defense. And that's got to feel pretty good. There were a lot of people backing the number one contender coming in here tonight. But he certainly muted all of that noise and then some. The celebration is on in the corner. Congratulations to the reigning defending, still undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world.